Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's vlog. You may have noticed I did one Monday and then I decided fully against it. <laughs> so I'm coming back to you on Fridays. Mondays, I just don't know between work and just living an actual life. I'm not sure I want to commit to two. So I will be on Fridays, you'll just have to wait. But uh, this weekend we did a little bit of work. We had to put in a fan to vent out of the house in the bathroom. Um, other than that, I was just kind of getting well. One of the cool things I did want to say is this is those heatless overnight curls where you've looked online and they have like the, you can buy a band. I actually just used a bandana and twisted my um, damp hair last night and slept on it. And the curl is awesome. I need to really work on the um, frizz factor, but I have, I do have curly hair. Naturally, it's well, at this point, it's wavy. So it is thick and the texture is usually frizzy. So I do need to get some more like argan oils and coconut oils, different things like that to kind of smooth it down. But I mean, this is fantastic and I'm ready for work. So that, my friends, I suggest giving a shot. Other than that, let's flip you around. Ginger Peach is living her best life. Yep, you ready to be back on the vlog this week? Always camera ready. My cat is out wandering about and I am about to start some work. So I will, I do have to return some library books today. I do wanna go for a walk. That would be a lot of fun. I did get back to the gym yesterday, which felt amazing. Um, and I'm planning on going on Wednesday. So we're back on that. But other than that, I'm gonna start some work. I'll see you guys in a little bit. centerpieces we have for tomorrow. This will be on some tables and then this one with the lights here will be on the other tables. So I just got home from picking up my order from the Salted Hippie and are you ready for this? I can't wait. Oh, the Razzle Dazzle Booties. Look at these things. They are so, see all the shine? Yes, ma'am. I'll be wearing these out. Are words even needed, guys? Look at the adult version of my doesn't matter if it matches, I'm wearing these shoes. So I'm going to need suggestions. I have this beautiful 80-pound dog named Ginger who is... <laughs> Oh my goodness, sometimes I think she's the dog from Marley and me. She's crazy. But she just got her bath, which was long overdue. And I just got her clean and this is what she does. She, hi Ginge. Yes, you're on video. So she rolls literally in the mud immediately after. And I'm guessing I just wait till she's dry. She's not muddy, but in the grass. I'm guessing I just wait till she's dry and then brush her. But if anybody has a suggestion, I don't really want to go with a mobile service or anything. I'd rather be able to do it at home myself. But if anybody has a suggestion on how to get this not to happen, I don't have the garage. I'm assuming I could put her on this screened in porch and just block the exit. Do you guys have any like awesome tricks for an 80 pound dog to get her to let you bathe her and to get her to um, not roll in the dirt immediately after. I'm here for it. So tonight we have a gala to celebrate Top Star's 10th year in business. And I'm really excited to attend. It should be a ton of fun. And I wanted to show you my dress. The I'm going to get shots later 
of um, my daughter is my date, so I'm super excited about that. But I'll get some pictures of us later to attach to next week's vlog, but I will have already posted this by the time we're at this one. So these shoes are actually from Kato, and they are so cute. I just walked in, they had a the little bit of lace. There's real small kitten heel. I think these will be fun to dance in and everything. And then this was, this is actually borrowed from my friend. And the coolest thing ever is, as women know, it has pockets. So super excited. So a couple updates for today. Uh, let's see. I went to work this morning and then after that material selection, I went to the gym. So I did get my three workouts in. Um, today was arms and so far we're able to move. Tomorrow may be a different story. Feeling much, much better, which is great. So I wanted to update you. I did read Becoming. The I had shown y'all that I had read um, that I was going to read Becoming with Michelle Obama. I have already returned it to the library, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I think autobiographies, biographies are going to be my thing. I thoroughly enjoyed the story of her as a kid growing up and then her when she met Obama and then becoming a mother and well becoming married becoming a mother and then like them after um this one I think is not too far into after the White House but it was really cool like the different things they did in the White House meaning like as a mother her with kids and it was just really cool there were some sections that had more like a political portion to it that I completely skipped I'm just not a big politics person so I skipped those but I did thoroughly enjoy. So if you haven't read that, I, I suggest it. I thought it was really incredible if you're into people's stories. So that was a really, really exciting one. And then I picked this one up. It's called The Bears Bookseller and it's by Carrie Mayer. I am only about 15 pages in. This is just a fiction book. I'm already finding what I was telling you all though, that I'm just not able to get into these fiction stories as much as I am into people's real life stories. So I may try to struggle a little bit more this weekend and read and just see if it picks up for me, but I kind of think I'm just going to return it and get another autobiography and just enjoy that this year and, and learn more things about other people. Uh, the other thing that I did want to show is one of my friends for Christmas sent me this paint my number and it's a kit where all the paints come um, with the paint brushes. I believe this portion is more like an easel that you would paint it on. Um, but everything of course is just numbered. There was a photo of what it's supposed to look like. And I don't know if I threw that away. <laughs> so uh, we'll just paint by the numbers, whatever color it tells us. So. We're going to do this, which I'm excited to start playing with. I'm really, really enjoying right now getting more within myself. So meditation is not something that I do. Um, it's not something that I'm against. It's just I have trouble sitting there. So I'm really trying to find some stuff to pull back out that creativity in my life and just kind of break up the mundane but also spark that creativity and just take away all that stress. So I am trying a few things. I'll let you know what works. And lastly, I did stop at CBS and I got myself, it's 730 Valentine and this is a Revlon nail color. I'm not sure if it shows, it's kind of like a deeper red. I picked this up because I am wanting to do um, red nails and then do a red lip tonight uh, for the gala to go with that dress I showed you. So I will have all this in the pictures for, uh, for next week really. But other than that, I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog today. It is about, I think it's like three, three o'clock and I need to or want to have a cup of coffee it's a little chilly. I was going to take you guys outside and just sit and relax, but the wind is going pretty hard and it's pretty chilly. I've got a, this is a medium um, level jacket and I still had a blanket on my lap. So I think I'll just sit in here and finish up my cup of coffee and then 
start with the nails. I've got to shape and everything my nails and start enjoying the getting ready process for tonight at the gala. And then um, I think I told you I'm taking my daughter as my date. So that is going to be so much fun. I know we'll have a blast. So we're going to do that. And then in the next vlog, I'll be able to show you some of the gala and I'll also show you we're going to a spa tomorrow for a massage and then just kind of like a girl's afternoon. So um, lunch and then potentially even a movie. So I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I will say bye for now and I will catch you guys next week. Have an amazing weekend.